Hey guys, Jessie here from My Life in Arts and Crafts and the Kadoodle Bug Design Team. So today starts our new challenge. And if you're watching this video at a later date, this is just kind of a little how to make a shaped card. But I am specifically posting this for our challenge, which starts on Friday the 31st. Yeah, Friday's the 31st. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a shaped card and I'm going to show you start to, front, start to finish how I set it up on my Silhouette Studio software. Keep in mind that I'm running the designer edition, so it might look a little different. So I'm going to show you with the Valentine dinos because it's almost Valentine's Day and this is probably the last like few Valentines I'm going to make. So I'm using the Valentine dinos and I'm actually going to use this this little one over here. So this is the dino with hearts. I'm going to drag in the SVG format of the file. Okay. So I'm going to ungroup, right click, ungroup, right click, ungroup again. Now everything breaks apart. I don't need her eyes because I'm not going to use them and I'm not going to use the spikes because I'm actually going <clears> to <throat> cut this out in white so that I don't have to worry about those spikes. Because those pieces are tiny and I don't want to put them in. So I'm going to fill this in with a light gray so that I can see it. I don't need these. I don't need the hearts. I don't need the spots for her back. Because I might emboss this. I don't know. So. There's two different ways you can make your shaped card. You can either use this piece. Or you can make an offset. And that would just give you a little bit of a shadow around it, which is what I prefer to do. So I do know that I need to make this a little bit bigger. That's a little too big. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking on this one and I'm getting the dimensions because I do not want this to be bigger than a standard A2 size card. So I'm going to go offset. I don't like that distance. So I'm going to go down to 0.155 and then I'll hit apply. Okay. So those dimensions are 4.25 by 4.91. It's a little too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select over everything and I'm going to shrink it just a tad. Just so that this dimension is within four and a quarter. Now it is. So I'm going to slide this out of the way. I'm going to slide her toes out of the way. Now I'm going to work with this and I'm going to go to my replicate window and I'm going to mirror above. Now I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard and I'm going to nudge down a couple times just so her head is overlapping. Okay, then I can go to modify, weld. Now once we have that done, I'm going to click on my line tool and I'm going to draw a straight line by holding down shift and I'm going to draw straight across my dinos. Now I'm going to click on that line and I'm going to change it to a perforation line. Well now you notice that I don't have any cut lines on anything right now because we're using the SVG, of the form, uh, SVG file. So I have to turn my cut lines on. Oop. There we go. Okay. So now I need to select both of these guys. Go to align and center click on this. I'm going to shove it over with my arrow keys so that it stays uh, where it needs to be vertically. Yeah. Okay, now I'll group these guys together. This is going to be my card base, so it's going to need a 5 by 10 inch piece of paper. I can tell that by going up here to the rulers and down to the rulers down here. Now I can get this per this little dinosaur right in here and start moving stuff around. I have one of these already laid out on my mat, so the dimensions aren't going to be exactly the same because I'm kind of eyeballing it and winging it. Um, so I will get this cut out. I'm not using a face stamp or a face for her because I'm going to use a face stamp. And I will get this cut out and put together and I will show you the finished card. 